Here's the first situation. You and five friends are playing Russian Roulette, which is a game where you take a six chamber revolver with a bullet in only one of the six chambers, and you take turns shooting yourselves in the head with it. You don't spin the cylinder after every turn, you only spin it once at the beginning, and you get to pick your turn. The question is, which turn should you pick? Some people say the first turn, because for the first turn there is only a 1 in 6 chance that the bullet is in the chamber, and the later and later the turns get, the higher and the higher probability that the bullet is in the chamber. Eventually, at the 6th turn, there is a 100% chance that the bullet is in the chamber, because that is the last chamber left for the bullet to be shot in if no one else has shot the bullet. The true answer is that it doesn't matter which turn you pick, because all of them have the same probability that you will end up shooting yourself with the bullet. It's true that the first turn is least likely to have the bullet in the chamber, but that's only one variable to think of. There is also the probability of even getting a chance to shoot the revolver because the people in the turns before you could shoot the bullet first. Let's take the first turn for example. You have a 1 in 6 chance of shooting the bullet, but you have a 6 in 6 chance of taking your turn. If you multiply 1 in 6 by 6 in 6, you get 1 in 6, which is the total probability that you will end up shooting yourself with the bullet on this turn. Now for the second turn, you have a 1 in 5 chance of shooting the bullet, but you only have a 5 in 6 chance of taking your turn because there was one person before you that could have shot himself with a bullet, so take 1 away from 6 and 6, it gives you 5 and 6. If you multiply 1 and 5 by 5 and 6, you get 1 and 6, which is the total probability that you will end up shooting yourself with a bullet on this turn as well. The pattern continues all the way until the 6th turn when you have a 1 in 1 chance of shooting the bullet, but only a 1 in 6 chance of taking your turn, because there were 5 people before you that could have shot themselves with the bullet. Just like the first turn, multiply the 1 in 1 chance of shooting the bullet by the 1 in 6 chance of taking your turn, and that gives you a 1 in 6 chance that you will end up shooting yourself with the bullet on this turn. So in the end, all turns give you the same probability that you will end up shooting yourself with the bullet, because as the chance of shooting the bullet increases, the chance of taking your turn proportionally decreases. Here's the second situation. The game is the same except that after each turn you spin the cylinder. Now does it matter which turn you take? Yes, the latest turn you can take is best for you. This is because each turn has a 1 in 6 chance of shooting the bullet, but the later your turn is, the less likely it is that you'll have to take your turn because the people ahead of you might have already shot the bullet.